Hey, it's Mr. H, and this is episode four of my Daily Desmos graphing challenge series. Today, I'm going to look at a challenge called Half Circle Number Zero. It's another advanced challenge, and we'll see if we can solve it. All right, let's go. Now, I'm going to put the link to this challenge in the description, and also I'll put a link to my graph so that you can try the challenge first, and then you can look at the graph of what I ended up with as well. So when I check this out, all right, let's let's uh, let's put this in. We'll see if there's any extra information here. It looks like the idea is to just have one function, one equation, one inequality uh, to get this. So we just have a circle and we'll probably have to come back to this, but I'm noticing it's shaded inside the circle on the left and it's shaded outside of the circle on the right that is super interesting and we have this nice green color so let's start a graph here and we will name this so obviously we want to start out with a circle so i'm just going to put in a circle equation here centered at the origin and just because of the size of the current window that i have let's just do a radius of Five. So I want to do 5 squared here, which is 25. And that gives me a nice circle. We'll change it to green right away, and that way we have our circle. Now, the thing is, if we do less than or equal to here, then that is going to shade in the circle. But we don't want the entire thing shaded in. We want the left side shaded in, and then on the right side, we want everything that's not there shaded in. So it makes me think sort of about factors because on the left side, when one function is, you know, less than zero, when one function is negative, when one idea is negative, we want to shade in. And on the other side, maybe when that idea is negative or is not happening, that's when we want to shade in. So I think. I think I have an idea here. So if we subtract 25 from both sides, so I can set this to zero and I'm just gonna subtract 25 on the other side, I have the exact same picture as before. But what I'm interested in is thinking like this. If I turn the left side into a factor and then I put another factor out in front of it, the idea is that this factor is true right now um, all the time. So that's going to shade in the left side, but I want something that will shade in the right side. And so since the X values over here are all positive, I think that when I do negative X, that's gonna be less than zero for that factor. Did we just stumble onto it that quickly? I think we did. That is beautiful. Look at that. We got it. All right. Save that. That was quick. So this is interesting. This is a nice compound inequality here where the idea is when you multiply two things together and get a negative result, that means one of them had to be negative and the other one had to be positive. That's the idea. So when this one is negative, it means that we're over here on this side and that's why this inequality becomes true when we're, whenever we're outside of the circle. The other factor here, when this is negative, right, that's when we're over here on this side and it's also true, we're, we're actually going to be shading inside the circle. Oh, I really like that challenge. All right, so you can get to this challenge in the description, and you can also get to my graph in the description. I hope you enjoyed this, and please subscribe and come back for episode five.